define and conquer. To be Kenyan is to smell the scent of the earth that's jumping up to meet the rain that's coming. To be Kenyan is to celebrate the clouds knowing behind them the sun is rising and with their marriage come the promise of milk, of honey. Because to be Kenyan is not to survive. To be Kenyan is to surprise. I'll be honest. Art Cafe is not exactly my cup of tea. <laughs> and I could never understand how so many cars wore red and white stickers. Why market for free? I guess I kind of scoffed at the security checks until militants attacked a playground. Yes, we were shot. Yes, we are wounded. No, we are not falling. We can't let one small group of radicals cause a xenophobic dawning. We built the bullet glass barricades which held their fort for several days. If we start hating all outsiders, then they win. That's regressive change. Do not think that blind hate is not blind. We must seek to define what they tried to defy. Divide. To be Kenyan is to see beauty in curves which underlay the colors of Msemo Zaleso. To be Kenyan is to mourn out loud, to cry in ululations as exclamation that the ones we lay to rest have found the afterlife because to be Kenyan is not to survive. To be Kenyan is not to hide. To be Kenyan is to be pride. Time makes its changes to faces, through phases, past places, within which all wounds try to be healed. We used to know death is coming when an owl is heard. Now we read abuses in three languages from Mohammed Kamal's Twitter bird. We scream hushed insults at a government that should have known an attack was pending. What we're forgetting is that it always was. These coward scare tactics is to keep on threatening. What we can't let them threaten is our unity, our work. Trust me, I get it. It's difficult to define identity when you're mixed up. But that's just it. Our diversity is who we are. And I know, we're not quite arm in arm. Nobody wants to be surprised by harm. Racial and ethnic profiling is in our blood, but we can't let them take our hospitality, period. In some places, our people were met by one book, one God, and spices. In some places, our people were met by one book, one God, and rifles, all with slavery up their sleeves, perceived a human of a different breed, with currencies of cowrie beads, which used to glitter like litter our beaches. We are rich beyond riches. To be Kenyan is to smile with every part of your being, forgetting the fact that your back is aching. When you're Kenyan, every tree has meaning. Tererem chicha fall like manna, dropped by God's winged messenger. The coconut and mango tree model our generosity. The cassava, the guava, our children's dreams. Tell, tell, tell tales of plenty and harmony because to be Kenyan is not to survive. To be Kenyan is not just to live and abide. To be Kenyan is to give something small, not to bribe. <laughs> <laughs> to be Kenyan is not to swallow lies. To be Kenyan is to see the honey through the hive, to love and give thanks for life, to see fish and die. To be Kenyan is to thrive.